In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate variance. So variance is represented by the symbol S squared. S represents sample standard deviation, but S squared is the variance of a sample. And it's equal to the sum of the square differences between each data point and the sample mean represented by the variable X bar divided by N minus one, where N is the size of the sample. Now let's calculate the variance given these numbers. 6, 9, 14, 10, 5, 8, and 11. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. So let me get rid of this formula to make extra space. So first, we're going to list the data in ascendant order. In the next column, I'm going to put the difference between each data point and the sample mean. And then the square differences between each data point and the sample mean. So let's list the data in ascendant order. So first, it's 5, and then 6. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 14. Now let's calculate the sample mean. The sample mean is basically the average. It's equal to the sum represented by the sigma symbol, the sum of all the data points divided by the number of data points that we have or the sample size. So let's take the sum of these numbers. 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 14. It gives me a sum of 63. So that's the sum of all the data points that we have. And if we calculate the number of data points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So n is 7 in this example. 63 divided by 7 is 9. So that's our sample mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract each data point by 9. So 5 minus 9, that's going to be negative 4. 6 minus 9 is negative 3. 8 minus 9 is negative 1. 9 minus 9 is 0. 10 minus 9 is 1, 11 minus 9 is 2, 14 minus 9 is 5. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to take the square of those differences. So the square of negative 4, I mean, let me say that again. The square of negative 4, rather, is 16. So these are going to be positive numbers. The square of negative 9, I mean, negative 3 is 9. The square of negative 1 is 1. The square of 2 is 4, and the square of 5 is 25. So keep in mind, the variance is going to be the sum of the square differences between each data point and the sample mean divided by n minus 1. So to get this part of the formula, we simply need to take the sum of this column. So it's going to be 16 plus 9 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 25. So we get a sum total of 56. So it's going to be 56 divided by n minus 1. Keep in mind, n is 7. So that's 7 minus 1, or 56 divided by 6. 56 divided by 6 is 9.3. That's 9.3 repeating, and this is the variance of the sample. So now you know how to calculate the variance of a sample. But now what does the variance tell you? The variance is a measure of the spread of the data. Some data may be spread far apart, whereas some data may be more closer to the mean. And so a high variance indicates a larger a spread in the data. So let's use an example to understand this concept. 
So let's say we have the numbers 7, 8, 9. Well, let's add some more. Let's say 6 and 10. So that's the first set. We'll call that data set 1. And for data set 2, let's say we have the numbers 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. So which data set would you say has a higher variance? Data set 1 on the left or data set 2 on the right? Now, if we were to plot this on a number line, data set 1 would look like this. It's centered at 8, and it varies from 6 to 10. So we would have these five points. Now, if we do the same thing for a data set 2 on the right, it's centered as 8. I mean, it's centered at A as well. But notice that the data is more spread out. It ranges from 4 to 12. So because the data set on the right has, it's more spread out, we should expect that it will have a higher variance in value. And let's prove it by calculating the variance of these two data sets. In both cases, the sample mean is the same. To calculate the sample mean of the first one, we will take the sum of all the numbers and divide it by 5, since we have 5 numbers in a set. So the sum is 40 divided by 5, we get 8. Now, for the second one, it should be the same. The data is centered at 8. So if you were to add 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 and divide it by 5, this would be 40 over 5, which is 8 as well. So in both cases, 8 is the sample mean or the average of the values. Now let's calculate the variance for each data set. So let's do it the quick way. So first we need to take the difference between each data point and the mean and then square the difference. So the difference between 6 and 8 is negative 2, but when you square it, it's going to be 4. The difference between 7 and 8, you could say negative 1 or 1 because when you square it doesn't matter. So when you square 1, it's going to be 1. And then 8 in itself, that's a difference of 0. The difference between 9 and 8 is 1. When you square it, it's 1. The difference between 10 and 8 is 2. But when you square it, it becomes 4. And we're going to divide it by n minus 1. So we have 5 data points. 5 minus 1 is 4. So 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4, that's 10. And 10 divided by 4 is 2.5. So this is the variance of the first data set. So now let's calculate the variance for the second data set. So the difference between 4 and 8 is 4. And when we square it, 4 squared will give us 16. The difference between 6 and 8 is 2. 2 squared is 4. And for the middle number, because that's the same as the mean, the difference will be 0. The difference between 8 and 10 is 2. 2 squared is 4. And the difference between 8 and 12 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So 16 plus 4 is 20. 4 plus 16 is also 20. So we have 20 plus 20, which is 40. And 40 divided by 4 gives us 10. So as you can see, the variance for the data on the right is significantly higher than the variance for the data on the left. And the reason for that is because the data on the right, as you can see, it's spread out from the mean, whereas the data on the left, it's more concentrated towards the mean. So variance is a measure of spread in the data. It tells you how far your data is spread from the mean. 
So hopefully this video gave you some uh, good insight in terms of how to calculate variance and also what it means, what it represents. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like it, don't forget to hit the like button or comment in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.